Good Sunday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, down here in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. This is our exclusive video weather blog called Weather Overtime. Thanks for joining us for more. If you have questions about the forecast, please make certain to drop them into the comments section. Let us know what the weather is doing in your location. If you're in the Mid-South, that's West Tennessee, North Mississippi, or Eastern Arkansas. Everything south of the Missouri Boot Hill or down into around areas north of Middle Mississippi and between basically the Tennessee River and the Mississippi River in Tennessee and over into central Arkansas and the Mississippi River in that area. Current conditions again in this bar back into the mid to upper 60s for this morning. Zero percent chance of rain expected for again later on today. Just not seeing that much in the way of rainfall for now. High temperatures today back into the lower 90s and winds a little breezy at times out of the south at about 11 miles per hour. Tonight's forecast not that low on the temperatures, only dropping to the lower 70s as we get into this evening. And that for the metro area could see a few mid to upper 60s across much of the rest of the Mid-South as we get into the forecast period for later on tonight. But otherwise, not going to be seeing too much cooler weather anytime soon. Ten days to go until we hit summertime and it's already feeling that way. Temperatures again pretty much appropriate for this time of the year. Check out more of our forecasts at our website, WRAG.com, and of course on all these social media pages. And will keep you updated as to what's going on there. Earthquakes in the Mid-South in the last 24 hours, none to be seen and not going to be seeing again too much of anything else, hopefully from the New Madrid seismic zone out there. More information from the United States Geological Survey and unfortunately these banners at the bottom of the page blocking out the logo for the Center for Earthquake Research and Information from the University of Memphis. Tons of weather information, or tons of seismic information available at these locations. A uh, great opportunity to study more about what's going on in and beyond the Mid-South. When it comes to college in Memphis, plenty of sunshine system, a few jet contrails making overhead, but otherwise not doing too bad out there for sky conditions. At the Ole Miss campus, the Crosby Hall Construction Cam, looking at the Student Union. Construction going on there in the central part of your screen, and otherwise a quiet campus in Oxford, Mississippi so far this morning. And then looking into and around the area of Germantown, we got plenty of clear skies, a few clouds here and there, and temperature at City Hall in Germantown on the Weatherbug system back into the mid to upper 60s, so rather on the mild side as we go throughout the early portions of Sunday morning. Temperatures will be rising very rapidly in the next few hours. The sunshine and those southerly winds that you see across the area, that is where we're going to continue to see some temperatures just moving very quickly upwards, so mid-80s by mid-morning. And then as we get into the rest of the forecast, that's where we see temperatures back in the high 80s for later on today. So outdoor plans, definitely want to make certain you get that uh, dressing cool. Get the sunblock, you're going to be needing that. And also, again, if you want to take the umbrella along as a portable sunshade, that might help. But try to avoid sunburn as much as you can with that sun protection factor out there. Also take along some extra bottles of water. If you're in the Mid-South and you've never seen our heat and humidity here if you're not used to it it can sap your strength pretty quickly again with numbers like this coming up so just keeping that in mind if you're gonna be doing anything uh, outdoors today in and around the Memphis area as we look at some very warm temperatures coming up throughout the course of the rest of the day welcome to everybody who's just joining us on Periscope and Twitter got any questions about the forecast in the mid-south drop them into the comments section and also if you have any weather reports from around your area let us know the temperature the sky conditions, stuff like that. Put them in the comments section and let us know a little bit more about what's happening there. Currently seeing again temperatures in the 60s and 70s, lower to mid 80s by early this morning and into early this afternoon. Temperatures will be back easily into the mid to upper 80s, even into and around the lower 90s. By sunset, numbers knock off by just a little bit, not by much. Mid 80s or so across much of the area there. Going through News Channel 3 at 10 and into daybreak tomorrow morning, Todd Demers will be on the air at 430 with a complete update of his forecast and temperatures for lows only in the lower to mid 70s maybe a few mid to upper 60s out there but just not seeing too much more than that and then through the rest of the day tomorrow more chances of showers begin to develop by the time we hit mid to late morning out there Let's see who we got here RWY Jr. checking in from Windyke area in Memphis thank you very much uh, for checking in 
for this morning. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for the comment section drop in there. By tomorrow afternoon, more chances of showers and thunderstorms start to pop up. That's where we see again these pockets of areas of concentrated scattered showers and thunderstorms possible. I don't think it's going to be a washout, but I do think you're going to have to make certain you get back indoors again. Remember when thunder roars, go indoors. If you can see lightning or hear thunder, you are within range of getting struck by that thunderstorm that is wandering close to your area. So please keep that in mind. Safety first, especially as we go out of spring and head into summertime. Clearing things out a little bit tomorrow evening around News Channel 3 at 10. Could be some showers and thunderstorms wandering through the Mid-South left over, but that'll do it for the chances of rain on Monday. More chances to come as we go throughout the course of the next several days. So 90 degrees today, no thunderstorms expected, but then as we go into Monday, more chances of showers and thunderstorms coming through. Isolated mainly and in the afternoon and evening. More chances of activity through the rest of the week. Again, possibility of seeing some scattered showers and thunderstorms on Tuesday. Uh, RWY Jr., that's a probably a good idea. That reminds me I need to get my gutters cleaned out uh, just to be on the safe side there. We continue again to see some pretty good amounts of showers and thunderstorms across uh, much of the Mid-South. Again, we're not looking at anything in the way of major amounts of problems here with outdoor activities, but remember if you do have something going on and there's a thunderstorm nearby, back indoors until at least 30 minutes after you've seen the last lightning strike or heard the last rumble of thunder. Best way to stay safe out there. This is the seven day forecast. I'll have more on the 10 day forecast coming up here in just a little bit on News Channel 3 Daybreak. My co-anchor Nina Harrelson out there right now taking care of the news situation and I'll be doing more about the weather coming up here in just a little while. In the meantime, as of right now, don't forget to keep up to date with what's going on with the weather by getting our weather app. This is again a great opportunity for you to stay in touch. Whatever platform you've got, go to your app store, search W WREG weather and find out more about what's going on with weather in the Mid-South. Keep up to date with my forecast Monday through Friday on Bob and Josh on Talkback Live on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio and of course we'll have more on my various social media networks as well throughout the course of the next several days. Also vote in my Twitter poll. If you have not had a chance to do that go to my Twitter account at Aonic underscore WREG3. How much do you spend per month on average when it comes to your utility bill in the summertime? Time. We'd like to know, and there's an important reason for that, and we'll explain that coming up later on. But go vote there first and let us know what you spend per month on average for your utility bill. Less than $250, more than $750, somewhere in the middle. Cast your ballot there. We'll also have more information about what's going on with the tropics as well into the course of the rest of not only today and the weekend, but into the rest of the hurricane season out there. i got to get back on set for the rest of daybreak. Questions, concerns, comments should be an email address right at this portion of the screen, but somehow it's gone. Austin.onic at WREG.com if you have any questions, concerns. If there's something on here that you would like to see, let us know. Please say so by emailing me or dropping a comment on social media. Great opportunity for you to learn more about weather, whether it's climate or worldwide weather. Whatever it is you want to see, please let me know, and I'd be glad to feature it, but I can't feature it unless I know about it. Same thing with weather pictures. If you've got some weather pictures out there you'd like to see us post on social media from around the Mid-South, Please send them along, but we can't show them unless you send them. So go ahead and drop those to us, and we'd be glad to know a little bit more about what it is that you would like to be able to see across uh, much of the Mid-South area. Currently seeing again a warm start to the day. More coming up on your forecast in just a bit and throughout the rest of the weekend on News Channel 3, so stay tuned for more there. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onig. This has been our latest Sunday morning edition update of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, and thanks for joining us. Yes.